Good morning everybody, it's Minute and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Fire Emblem Awakening. In the last episode, we made it to the ends of the earth and are now ready to face the Fell Dragon Grima if we so desire to. However, I did not start this episode by saying welcome to the finale of Fire Emblem Awakening, and the episode title also supports that theory that we're not ending the LP right here, so we are actually going to be making a bit of a detour. In order to face the ultimate evil, we need everybody's help. We're trying to save the world. We're not trying to like stop someone from taking over the world. We're trying to stop someone from destroying the world. So surely there'll be some people who are willing to help us at this point in time, right? Well, if you go ahead into wireless mode and check out... Uh, uh, this is a bit of a different layout from what I just checked. I was just testing it a couple seconds ago and it already changed the layout from what I saw before. Uh, oh, you know, if you press bonus box, you could see if you do a little update right here, if it doesn't pop up right here right away, just go ahead and do a little update and you should see a bunch of new stuff here. You could go ahead and check out a lot of bonus stuff. There are bonus challenges, uh, which relate to the characters that we have with us right now. I'm not gonna be doing these in the LP because it'll take way too long. Bonus teams, which allows you to fight characters or play as characters from past Fire Emblem games, but just for these uh, single chapters. Again, really stinking cool, a very big love letter to fans of old Fire Emblem games, but I would be here for a million more episodes if I showed off all of them, so we are not going to be doing that either. There's bonus items, which are just items that you could use in your main story if you so choose. Some of them may seem familiar to previous Fire Emblem games, they're all just really sick and overpowered, and I don't really want to use them for that reason. But uh, Book of Naga and For Forseti seem kind of uh, cool. I'm not going to say the obvious word, but what we're interested in... Well, I said it right there. <coughs> ...is the bonus maps. These are extra paralogs that could actually net you some reward that might be worth your while in the main story. However... These bonus maps are only available to you after chapter 25. So literally, you could only do them right before you face the final boss. If you're having a really tough time with it, then perhaps the rewards you get in these bonus chapters might serve useful for the road ahead. We got ourselves uh, six more paralogs to go through, so Fire Emblem Awakening is going to have six more episodes before the finale. But, let me just say, it is completely and totally worth it. Uh, but before we do that, we probably should have uh, done this in a better order. We got some Baraks and some supports to go through. Uh, we got... Is that Sumia? I didn't recognize her in her new outfit. I also didn't notice the guy in the bot. Uh, Orson's hatchet. Cool. And for supports, we got a buttload of them from the previous paralogue. The only one that we didn't get, basically, is uh, Basilum Flavia. So we're just going to uh, go through them. First off is Krom and Sumia. Not really what I'm working towards, but it's cool that we got it nonetheless. Pardon me. Krom, where are you? Hello? Mm. I'm right here, Sumia. Yes. Oh, there you are. Um, so here, I baked you a pie. What? Really? Well, this is a surprise. More like a surprise. I hope you appreciate that, Chris, and you remember our first interaction together. Mmm, it smells amazing. But... You've been working so hard recently. I thought you must be tired. My mother used to bake me rhubarb... <coughs> oh, jeez, why am I choking? My mother used to bake me rhubarb and fiddlehead pie. It always perked me up. Hmm? Rhubarb and fiddleheads? No mutton or goat or bear? I usually prefer a bit of meat in my pies. I prefer bananas and cream in my pies, personally. No. Absolutely not. Meat is the last thing you need when your body's worn out. A stick of rhubarb will clean your bowels and get you right as rain in no time. That's what my mother used to say anyway, and she was always right. Right. Uh, okay. Old Nurse Nan... Nurse Nan used to say the same thing when I was young. See? They can't both be wrong. Now, eat your pie while I go clean out your small cloths. I see quite a pile forming on the far side of the cot there. Well, go on. Don't mind me now. Just eat your pie. Mm. Er, well, if you insist. Hmm. 
gods, I hate rhubarb! But if Sumia thinks it'll make me feel better, I suppose I should force it down. Hmm? Hey, this isn't bad. In fact, it's delicious! Well, that was about the best pie I've ever had! Hello! Crom, I'm back! Oh, have you finished already? Yes. I did, and it was amazing! Usually rhubarb makes me queasy, but not this time. What's your secret? Oh. Nothing special. Just a bit of spice here and a pinch of herb there. You could make something taste like anything if you know the tricks. Really? Well, Sumia, I'm more than impressed. You're a true wizard of the kitchen. Oh. I'm so glad you liked it. Now then, how about a cup of elderberry tea? No. Hold on, you made a you made me a pie, so I should be making you tea. Just let me boil some water here. My love. This is too much, really. Hee <laughs> hee, I knew he'd love the pie. Especially since it took me 15 tries to get it right. Oh, I feel kind of bad for not putting them together, but... Crom and Robin are just such a more, like, strong duo. And, like, I know I said before that, like, they don't need to end in a relationship in order to be devoted to one another, but... Still, I don't know, like... Part of me kind of wishes I did things a bit differently, and then we would have been able to see all the child units as well. But then this LP would be really sinking long, a lot longer than it already is, but then again, some of you might be okay with that, depending on how this LP is received. I've been having fun with it, hope you guys are too. Finally time for the final interaction with Robin and Lucina. After their less than pleasant encounter in a previous chapter, let's hope that this ends their relationship on a high note. Well, Mother, I've done it. I found your ideal outfit. I just know you'll love it. Oh, goodness, I didn't think you'd find anything quite so quickly. But I'm sure it'll be just fine. I could hardly wait to try it on. <laughs> you have my gratitude. And I can't wait to see how it fits. Are you ready? Ta-da! Huh? It's tiny. Almost like... Lucina, these are baby clothes. Right. I saw you admiring them in the shop when we visited the market together. I didn't understand why, until I realized you must have been thinking of your daughter. The one you have in this era, I mean. Your real daughter. Yes. You could send it to her back at the castle. I'm sure she must miss you. Why, Lucina. <sighs> I've been so happy here, despite having to fight this war. Being able to see my mother again has been like living in a dream. I didn't want to wake up and remember that you have a different life in this world. Whenever I think of your little girl, I can't help but feel jealous. I know it's ridiculous to envy myself, but I can't help it. All right. Oh, Lucina, don't be silly. I've thought of you as my daughter from the moment we were reunited. Believe me when I say I love you just the same as I do that child at the castle. Mother. Honestly? Well... Yes, you are a true daughter to me. I want to give you happy memories to make up for those you lost in your future world. And I know your father feels the same way. <sighs> if anyone knows how he feels, I imagine it would be you. <laughs> of course, your father and I are alike in so many ways. We're both parents to the world's most wonderful daughter, for one. <laughs> Thank you, mother, for everything. <laughs> oh, that's so adorable, but I also feel really stinking bad that I just ditched Morgan, basically. Like, nobody stinking cares about him. Uh, it's always the firstborn that gets all the love. Okay, we are at rank A with Cherish and Noe. Let's see how their relationship ends up. <laughs> Noe? Noe, are you alright? Uh, no. But it's okay. Did I lose it? Mm. I'm so sorry. I thought you'd turn into a dragon before I could hit, I could land my blow. Mm. Last time I was a dragon, I hit you so hard you fell out into a tree. I didn't want that to happen again. Oh. That's very kind of you, Noe. But I don't want to hurt you either. So next time, you make sure you enter the dragon form. Do you hear me? Nope. Oh, it's fine. I hardly hurt at all. Plus, sometimes I... I don't know, I kind of like not being a dragon. Well... Then maybe we could play a different game. Okay. Like what? Huh. How about drawing pictures? That should be safe enough. So, hey. 
No, that sounds boring. How about hide and seek? Mm -hmm. You don't like drawing pictures? Listen. I guess so, but then Minerva wouldn't be able to join in. Hide and seek is much better. All three of us can play at that. Mm -hmm. Then hide and seek it shall be. Yes! I am so going to win. It's actually kind of funny in Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, she says, uh, no, he often brings up that she wants to play hide and dragon seek. Where uh, you hide and then she becomes the dragon that like chases you. So she may have a, a bit of a different idea as to what hide and seek is than what Cherish is imagining it to be. But we'll leave that for her to find out when the time comes. But it seems that they're uh, good friends in the end, so that's nice. Up next is Long Ku and Tharja, Rake B. Tharja. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to move across the room if that's what you want. <laughs> okay, I have better things to do than watch you stand there with your mouth agape. You want me to dispel your fear, right? Can you truly release me from this crippling aversion to your kind? Pretty much. Only if you promise to never refer to women as your kind again. Also, I need to know exactly where this fear comes from. <laughs> All of it? Well? Unless I know the true nature of what ails you, I cannot destroy it. Right. Every night I am plagued by a dream. A dream of true events. A young girl who lost her life because of me. She was an ordinary village girl who lived out on the outskirts of town. We became friends despite the fact that I was an impoverished youth from the slums. In time, she began to steal away from her parents to see me. Love flowered between us, but then... Go on. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. One day, we went into the fields to picnic and spend time by the river. The bandits were so fast, so many. I fought them with all that I had, but she still... They... I'm sorry, Lanku. From that day on, the presence of a woman has filled me with fear. A woman died because of my failings. I would not let it happen again. And though that day is long past, I relive it every night. Interesting. It is not unusual for powerful incidents to grip our hearts for so many years after. You aren't cursed by mortal means. Long Ku, the memory is the curse. Hmm. Can you help me? Pretty much. But it will take time. I must learn about you, this girl, and your youth spent in the slums. If I am to break the curse, I must know everything there is to know about you. If that's what it takes. God, Lanku, why are you such a good singing character? He's such a good boy. He has a bunch of great interactions with all these singing characters. Oh my god. And ending on a probably not super great note, Anna and Tiki. <laughs> Weeha! Business is booming. Thank goodness for our pious patrons. The question now is how to keep this growth up. Me thinks it's time to stoke the flames of profit fever. Wee -hee -hee -hee. Hey. I uh, heard you speaking with the prophets just now. Is the explanation for your most blissful demeanor? What? Tatiki, uh, no, I didn't say prophets. I said, uh, prophets. And I'm just happy because the last few battles have gone so well. Tee -hee -hee. Huh? Well. Your mirth is, the, is well founded. And yet we can ill afford complacency. This war is still far from ended. And we mustn't forget that our victories come at the cost of others' lives. Though our causes differ, they still have families, hopes, dreams, and fears. <laughs> Except for the Risen. Those guys are just creepy. Oh wait, I've got a great idea! Speak it then. Ooh. You should give a speech praising the virtues of peace and brotherhood. What good, what good is a voice if she's muted, eh? Let's put those vocal cords to use. No. I'm not so arrogant as to think it's my station to lecture others. I'm merely a woman who has lived longer than most. <sighs> yeah, but being all super old gives you wisdom and stuff. You could do a good thing here, the audience would be moved by your words. You could remind them why they fight, to achieve lasting peace for friend and foe. 
Perhaps there is wisdom in what you say. Yes. Do it for their sake, even just once. <clears throat> Your passion has convinced me. I shall attempt to gather my thoughts into words. Come again. Perfect. I knew I could count on you. We'll call it talking with Tiki. Attendance could be in the thousands, so we'll need a big venue. And a spare for a commemorative gift shop at every exit. Tee uh, what? Uh, Anna, I do not wish for this to become an event of such magnitude. I don't even know what I plan to even say yet. Cha ching No, oh, don't worry. You'll have people whip out a script for you. Ooh, and we can have a VIP meet and greet with after the speech. It'll be huge. Yee-hee-hee-hee. <sighs> Gods give me strength. Is this gonna have a sweet ending, possibly? Because I'm not sure on it at this point. Uh, we got Barax while we were going through the communications. It just took that stinking long, I guess. It's vague! Good old buddy vague. Uh, can't spell victory without several letters from vague. Is that what he said? It's like Papyrus is like, You can't spell something without several letters from my name! Yo! <laughs> okay, now that's taken care of. Finally, time to check out those extra paralogs that we showed off before in the bonus box. I guess I'll just be doing them in order. So we'll be starting with the Dead King's Lament. Oh, it actually gets added to the world map. I was wondering about that. Okay. Let's head on over there. Kind of a walk. But what is this new location? I'm actually glad that got added to the map because it makes the world seem a lot more big and alive. Uh, I guess we uh, look at these shops. Oh, they have the brave items. I was wondering if you could actually buy those things. But we would have to battle this person in the process, so probably not. I'm not going to go for it. Let's check out this paralogue. Paralogue number 18. Hey. Isn't that the guy from, like... The beginning okay so i should also mention i haven't never done or looked at any of these paralogues i know what you get in them but i don't know what any of the dialogue is like or like any other characters that might appear so it will be cool to see that this is like the guy from the beginning of the game your cavalry's come to claim your heads maggot storms or i be killing you first hey get salt in your ears maggot i said to move your maggoty hide Maggot. What? Yar, maggot. And if yar the maggot has further questions, my blade can answer them. The maggot is just fine, thanks. The maggot's a useless little sea squirt, that is what he is. Yeah! Anyway, maggots, best keep what little wits you got. The cavalry we face is none other than Crom and his shepherds. Crom, hmm. that name rings darnable sour in the dead man's ear. Not that any of it matters now. Really? Are those the dread pirates we've heard so much about? Ah. Indeed. Their leader is a man named Xanth, the so-called Southern Sea King. His crew can stand up to most armies, and as such, he holds sway over the south. Extreme caution should be the order of the day against this one, my lord. Yes. Then let's finish our business and get out of here. Uh, who can we bring to battle? We're missing two units again, unfortunately. Uh, I hate to just continually keep them out, but there's really no benefit to having them in the party anymore. I guess I'll be using these paralogs to just max out the levels that I haven't reached yet. As well as... Um form any other bonds that I want to make. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, since Payne and Olivia I don't think have any more supports that we could unlock. Uh, they could always go with like Krom or Frederick but like I never think to do that for some reason. Uh, or even are they at the bottom? I don't like you two at the bottom. You're better than that. Uh, they maxed out uh, no other girls, basically, because all I have is female units with my team. Uh, I guess this could be an opportunity an opportunity for me to use, like, older units that I kind of gave up on, but 
I don't want to make things more complicated than already that has to be. Uh, so who am I going to be pairing up and whatnot now that I got these guys all maxed out? Uh, let me just think about this real quick. I know I want to get Lucina and Tiki maxed out at some point, and Basilo and Flavia is uh, what I'm also working towards, and then Lanku and Tharja, so those guys are the main priority, I suppose. Everyone else is just a uh, matchup for the heck of it, I suppose. Anna can talk to Tiki and Robin. I guess while, while, while Lucina is with Tiki, I'll pair Anna up with Robin in the meantime, see what that support is like. Uh, let's get started, y'all. Defeat the commander. So, this is an optional uh, thingy. This is an optional paralogue that has a very great reward at the end of it, but only if you do a very specific thing. Uh, like most paralogs, or just like every chapter in general, keep Krom alive because that is very important. But you'll see why it's important for other reasons, so we'll soon see. Uh, we'll have Krom with Sumia. We'll have uh, this is not good for Robin and Anna to be meeting up, like, just, they're super far away from one another right now. I'll have, I'll have Anna go up here and then Robin meets her that way okay just so Anna's in the front Lucina is gonna be with Tiki so bring her up there uh Longku and Tharja do that uh Basile and Flavia as usual and then finally uh these weirdos um I'm trying to think Sari only is a Robin sexual she only talked to Robin and uh, I think Tiki as well but that's about it uh, so we'll have, I guess we'll have Cherish with Frederick, uh, Noe with Lissa, so I could have a bunch of confused commentary again, I guess. Uh, this would be beneficial to look around the map real quick first, we just got a bunch of ruffians. Nothing too dangerous, I assume they're gonna be optimately, or whatever the word is, like, level to where there would be a challenge at this point in the game. Grangle is in the audience. He is someone that we could fight. Along with Xanth, the first stinking guy we ever fought. So this is going to be kind of difficult because, believe it or not, we may have a chance of recruiting Grangle into our group. I was just going to go ahead and say it right now because I doubt I was actually being coy with any of this. So just want to go ahead and say it. But it's, again, the same thing in which uh, Krom needs to be the one to talk to them, so you gotta make sure that another character doesn't murder them in the process. An absurdly short lance. Good to know, I guess. Uh, go over here. Noe is almost max level. Bring Sari up here. And I'll have her connected to these guys just so she can get some benefits from that. Uh, we can actually attack from a distance. Uh, because Basilo is an archer. Use the silver bow. I uh, would like some criticals, but oh well. 69! That's okay. Because we got a 69. Uh, Lucina... Lucina's with Tiki. So, let's switch him around. Well, Tiki doesn't need an experience anymore. I guess we'll just plop him right here. I have a feeling we're going to be okay. These parallels will be too challenging. I hope I'm not wrong on that. And we'll give the experience to Frederick. That seems good. Seems like a good trade-off. Did not mean to use that weapon, though. Uh, seems like a really good one. I want to use it all up right now. He's at level 18. He's close to being maxed out. Uh, we got Longku and Tharja. Just have him in the front because he's the one who still needs experience. Time to counterattack. Thank you for dodging. Attack. And attack. So I think my uh, main method is just going to be like uh, keeping my distance and like having the enemies come to me and hopefully I can just swoop in with Krom whenever Grangle is all by his lonesome. So now we just got a bunch of dudes coming after us. Rex, oh god that was so stinking powerful. Can we not have Frederick be the first to die again? Oh, of course not. I am defeated. Oh, that's really lame. No, his horse is on fire, no! 
so bad for the singing horses in this game. He has to be part of this war and oh, I didn't think this through. That would be really lame if I end up losing this stinking paralogue. Oh well, well, it wasn't a matter of me not thinking it through because long because Cherish was with Frederick, so she became opened up when I want her to be. Okay, that was nice. Oh yeah, Robin is Thoron now, so she's just gonna murder everyone. It's gonna be amazing. Oh boy. Okay, you're attacking from distance at least, so I could counterattack. Thank you. And going after Anna now. Dodge it, please. Oh, of course not. That's half her HP. Jesus. Oh, I know it really doesn't mean much if uh, I'm going into these things blind or not, because I don't really remember the ins and outs of every map layout, uh, even though I played this game before and I beat it before. Uh, Flavia just flipped her singing sword in the air. That's you know, awesome. Um, but yeah, it's kind of... Uh, just give me a taste of what this is going to be like. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It's just like, I had no idea how difficult this is going to be. And like with how confident I've been throughout this LP with all my new skills and knowing how to actually play the game, it's proven to be quite a challenge right here. Uh, whoa, okay, Brave Sword is amazing. Good to know. I really wish I could buy more of them. There we go. Cha-ching indeed. Come again. Uh, we'll have. Uh, I guess. Hmm. I just want you guys to step out because I feel like it's gonna be super difficult to keep him alive. I feel like that's gonna be a major pain in the butt. Uh, we'll go with Noe, I guess. Who's she paired up with? Uh, she's with Lissa. Oh, wait a minute! I need to listen to heal Anna! Oh, God darn it. I just don't think of this pairing. Okay, no, he's maxed out. Oh, I was not thinking. I was thinking to, like, heal Anna with Lissa whenever I got to her, but I did not remember that they were together. God stinking darn it. Uh, Sayuri, what do you want to do? Like, want to save my stinking butt? Uh, Basilo could take down this guy. If I could just get rid of all the enemies in the area, that would be just as fine. And that would be another way of protecting Anna right now. Get that experience. I don't specifically need her right now, but I'd rather not have her die. Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't even have we don't have enough allies to prevent them from attacking Anna, though. Or maybe we do. One, two. Uh, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, maybe we do. Yeah, we do. Uh, it's just a matter of who's gonna kill who. Uh, good to know that you can't one hit KO them. Uh, if I stand over here and try and get rid of this guy, maybe it'll work. Uh, I'm gonna go for this one. Silver sword. Uh, paired with Long Ku. That'd be great if you could pitch in. Thank you, Long Ku. You're amazing. Thank you. Get that experience for both of you. Both of you gotta level up. And. Oh, wait, she got a new ability as well. That's cool. Acceptable. What is that new ability? His armor slayer broke. I knew that was gonna happen. Sword Fair. Uh, oh, it's the same thing as what uh, Long Ku has. That's cool. Just both sword masters, that makes sense. Uh, well, that's the only one that Krom could fight is this person. Uh, let's not have you take that much damage. Let's have Krom come in with the Exalted Falchion. Uh, let's see what we got. Thank you for one hit KOs. Get that level up. Still need to be leveling up him. We're definitely going to get them all maxed out. Well, I don't know, every character all maxed out, or just everyone on my squad, but uh, something like that, at least. Maybe, possibly. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that Longcoop can take this guy down. I guess I'll... Very good. I'll make this quick. And very good. As usual. 
Next up, head over to this guy. And take him out. We protected Anna! Huzzah! Uh, can you transfer that HP over to Anna? How many times have I made that joke? Again, you're the end of the LP. I know we've run out of jokes. Hopefully these paralogs aren't too uh, overly long and stuff. Uh, well, we still have this enemy right here who could possibly... Oh, thank God. thought they were going to attack from a distance, but no, they can't. Uh, what do we got right here, though? It is... Oh, communication. Good. What are you smiling about? Did you see my break in training... Did you see me break the training dummies again? No, silly. You're just fun to be around. You remind me of someone I once was close to. Oh, it's like Marv. That's so sweet. Uh, we'll have... Uh, we don't want that to happen, though. It doesn't say she'll die, though. Hmm. Does that mean she won't? Uh, let's switch to Melissa and heal her just to be safe. Very good. And you could take this guy down. Okay, we were never in any danger. Good to know. But now the iffy part where these guys are not coming out. They're going to make us come to them. Uh, definitely keep Krom with a flying unit. Unfortunately, it's the only one left because Cherish kicked the bucket. Just fly over here, switch to Sumia. Wait, I guess. Uh, keep on running up here. Sari, join them up as well. Uh, I guess you can go right here. And enemies coming in. They're not moving, really? Uh, what does this place have? Hail, traveler! Never thought we'd see someone stand against the Southern Sea King. Most of the villages here have been razed to the ground. Hundreds have died. Here, take this and return the favor. Make them pay for what they've done. We got Seraph Robe. Very nice. Uh, any sparklies in this area? Be kind of an awkward place to put it. Uh, I think we are good. This is a pretty wide and cool looking map. Oh uh, boy. Uh, let's see, Grangle's right here, so I could swoop in and fly. Uh, we'll try right here first, I guess. Uh, I want to, like, bait them out, but they're not taking it. Uh, let's try that. Anyone coming out? Really? I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I guess I got to try. Wait a minute. G Grangle? Grangle is dead. Nothing but maggots here. Wait. Grangle! That's the Mad King. I'm sure of it. So, in order to get Grangle to join you, you need to talk to him three times. Not going to be easy, however. Uh, I will keep Sumia out in front because she's the weaker one, and... I seriously don't know how we're going to get to do this without murdering him. Unless he, like, actively avoids us or avoids conflict because he knows who we are. I don't know. I guess we'll have to keep on going forward. Uh, we'll get rid of this guy. Are they all the same? Seems like it. Uh, you can't reach either of them. Uh, I wish I could use Hiki, but uh, Lucina needs the experience more. Oh, wait, I guess. Uh, shoot down. Actually, wait. You could attack from afar as well. But Bastille is better for it. Go for that. Okay. Minor damage, but it's something, I guess. And go over here. Wait a minute. Uh, staff. Oh, I thought 
God darn it. If I had, like, the escape thing where I could teleport Krom somewhere else, that would have been amazing. Oh, that would have been a good idea. If I fail this, I know what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, wait, an archer! No! Okay, thank you. They're all going for Sumia. The oh, no, 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 no! Oh. So now we got to make sure Krom doesn't die and make sure he doesn't murder Grangle. Cool. Oh boy. One day I'll know what I'm doing. This stinking game. Oh, no, thank you for missing. I'm fine with you taking down dudes. Just don't fight Grangle. I hope he doesn't fight you. I hope he's just standing there. But Tharja and Gaius fight you, even though, like, you could recruit them. And you could end up killing them and not having them join you. I don't have to win here. I could fail. Good. Well, Celo gets a level up. Uh, who's next? Just everyone except Grand. was like, leaving me in suspense till the very end. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. I need him to um, not get hit again, so we could heal him with Noe. Of course, they're going to go for him. Oh wait, it's Grangle! Well, okay. I'm annoyed, but I'm just glad that he didn't fight Krom, or like he didn't fight someone who would kill him in one hit. Uh, next is that dude. And that dude. Okay, good. Player phase. Krom needs to talk to him, so we need to we need to clear a path, because these guys are all jerks and in the way. Uh, let's go ahead and have Flavia. I need Oi, this is Bad. Let's have... We're gonna have to switch to our mages. Our ranged attackers, I guess. Go ahead and get rid of this guy. Oh, wait. Tharja out in front. That's just begging for... Murder. Tharja, I need you to, like... With, with, withhold your urge to kill... For, like, a few seconds, okay? Just help a brother out here. Uh, get rid of this guy, and then Krom could talk to Grangle for a second time. Go and do that. And that. Yeah, like, it's really weird when you think about how the tutorial boss is now leading, like, our first main antagonist. Really thinking weird how things change over time. And it's even weirder that we're trying to recruit him to our team. Grangle, I know it's you! How are you alive? Oh? Alive? No, Krom. This is not a living. You killed me once, dear prince. Now I would beg you do so again. My life is over. My body refuses to accept it. What? Gods, listen to you. Is this truly the same Mad King who stood against us? Really? That's it? Tear out everything that makes a man, and all you're left with is a husk. No throne, no gold, no men. I scrub chamber pots for brigands. Ah, how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Ironic that you, of all people, are finally learning about Lawn Falls. Huh? Jeez, Krom, that was a really dark joke for you, of all people, to make. I'm surprised you went there. Hey, it seems I'm not the only one who's changed, dear prince. Days passed, and you'd have sheathed your blade in my chest by now. Perhaps you have less of your father and more of your sister than I thought. No. Your crimes are beyond forgiveness. But indeed, Emreen had a profound effect on me, in most every way. My only charge now is to save this world. I have no time for vendetta. How very gracious of you. <sighs> Enough, Grangle. What little life you still have is wasted here. I could offer you a higher purpose. You could fight for us. <sighs> hey, now who's the Mad King? <laughs> I told you, I have no time for a vendetta. Defeating Grima is all that matters. And while killing you here would please me greatly, it put me no closer to that goal. Since you're no longer my enemy... I'd sooner put you to use than see you rot. Oh? You've changed, little prince. 
I'm almost disappointed. Still, I suppose this is what true leadership looks like. Listen. I'd have your answer, Grangle. Hmm. It was a lovely speech, but I'll pass. I'm just not the sort to play at hope and justice. If killing me would please you greatly, I'll not deny your satisfaction. Come, boy, do an old king one last favor and end this charade now. He's still not ready to join us. We gotta talk to him one more time. I'm going to get rid of this guy so that the others could sneak on in and attack the guys in the back. Makes it kind of weird that we're going through all the effort to recruit this guy. He is absolutely despicable in every way, but we unfortunately don't have the liberty or the pleasantry to pick and choose our allies at this point. We just sort of need to save the world and stuff. Uh, let's go with this. Uh, oh, thank you for the critical. If there's even a chance that he'll be able to help us, then I guess we have to take it, whether we like it or not. Uh, she got Axe Breaker. Grants hit and avoidance plus 50 if the enemy is- if the enemy is using an axe, okay. Seiri, the only way you could attack, uh, this guy is with a Matsu. Let's go for it, just so I want to get all these guys out of here. The less distractions, the better. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't get taken down. Uh, Robin can't reach anyone. Lissa, I'll just have you heal. Uh, Krom. And let's pray that he survives one more turn. Who he's going to attack? It's either Tiki or Krom. This is not good. Could I possibly... No, I'd just be trading the back members. Hmm. Oh boy, this could end poorly. This could end incredibly poorly. You could use the Eleven Sword to attack Seiri, but she'll fight back with the Amatsu. God, I might have messed myself up here. Only one way to find out. Oh boy. Going for her next. Thank you for missing. Okay. He's going for Krom. Oh god. Please, please don't, him, please don't kill 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 him. Thank you. Jesus. Okay, good. Also, don't kill Krom, 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 don't kill Krom. One HP! Holy Jesus! Get that little bit of healing. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Get that level up. Please tell me that was the last one. Oh, my God. Too risky. Too stinking risky. Too risky. Oh, my God. How did we survive that? Oh, you stinking owe me, Wait. Grangle! <laughs> you talk of slaying gods, but you're too soft to end one sorry little man. What are you waiting for? Do it! I give you my head on a silver platter. Damn you! You're pathetic. <sighs> what? Listen to me. You're not even worth killing. Not like this. Your death would hold no meaning at all. You smug little. Either we end Grima, or Grima ends us. And that includes your Plesian citizens. If you would throw your life away, throw it at Grima. Die with sword in hand, not begging like some craven rat with his foot in a trap. You were like a king once. Now suck up your self-pity and die for your people. Gods, but I despise you. Every word and every action yours makes me want to paint the walls with my lunch. Then you should stay here and rot and... I WASN'T FINISHED! Good! Anything to make you stop talking! 
Look, I've never sworn an oath in my life, much less thought to keep one. But what little life I have remaining is yours. Dragons, gods, throw me at what you will. Things are looking up for our team, all things considered. Only one person left to take down. Let's go with Anna, just heal him up real quick. Token of good faith to our newest member. I'm really sick and happy that I don't have to do- Oh, she learned Acrobat. What does that do? Uh, treats all accessible terrain as if it were plain movement-wise. So she could scale mountains? Good to know! Cool. Oh, wait. You guys. Hello. Did not notice you. That's awkward. Hmm. Well, then. I assume if we fight him, then- these guys disappear. Let's get Tiki out there. Switch to Lucina. Get Tharja out there. Switch to Long Koo. I can't believe that sinking worked. Oh my god, I could stop having a sinking heart attack now. And I assume if even if he falls now, uh, he'll still be on our side, just like in other chapters and paralogs. Uh, go over here. Uh, switch to Noe. Oh, no, he's maxed out. Okay. Uh, we'll keep Lissa out then. And you can just wait. And I'll... Oh, he's a trickster like Anna. That's not what I was expecting. Let's see what we got going for Lissa. Once we get rid of these guys, we'll be good to go. Oh my god. It's really cool that, like, I am definitely a fan of heroes and villains teaming up, though. I don't know how I feel about, like... Uh, this one specifically, because not a character I'm super fond of, that's for sure. But, I don't know, an ally is an ally, I suppose. And I don't, it, does, it seems like he doesn't have a, a character portrait. How he got a critical hit, but like, it didn't show him you know, close up and stuff. I'm not sure when this stuff was unlocked initially. It's absolutely free to get this stuff. You just gotta turn Spot Pass on and then just like update the reward system. And you should have gotten all the stuff that I have right now that you saw at the beginning of the video. So, if you want to want in all these extra goodies as well, then you could. It's just a matter of getting out of here alive at this point. Thankfully, I did it on the first try, and we don't have to worry about that. Oh, what the fruit? Where'd you come from? Uh, let's have Lucina get rid of them, I guess. I want to try out that new acrobat ability with Anna. Just run up there like stinking... I don't know who, but it'll be stinking cool. Very good. Whatever it takes. Uh, let's have Anna. It doesn't seem like it's doing the thing. Anna's the one in front, but uh, we'll see. Come on. I think it's like does it only apply to like forest and desert, not mountains. Huh. It's a bit underwhelming, but. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, go with that, I guess, since it KOs them. Uh, go ahead and get rid of him. Hopefully we're not too close to him to where we will end up having him go over and fight Long Ku. Because I want to have uh, Grangle finish him off, just our new member. Uh, Lissa, Staff, not that, Mend, Anna, because her acrobat thingy isn't working like I thought it would. Now let's check it. Um, treats all accessible terrain as if it were plain movement wise. I guess that doesn't apply to this because it's not terrain, it's like a wall or a building that you're just flying over on top of. 
I'm not entirely sure, but that's kind of lame. Now we got next. Just get rid of these guys. We'll be good to go, hopefully. Uh, we got three of them. Thank you for attacking us close range so we could get a counterattack in. Do and overdo it. Sounds like Omo Chow now that I hear it. Sounds like uh, something that they would say in Sonic Riders. What does Omo Chow even say when, like, you know the thing where she's all like, Sonic is moving memento, or like, something like that. It's like, I always interpret it as like, moving memento, or whatever that means. I have no idea, but like, that's what it sounded like to me. I have no idea what, the, what they're actually saying. Also, with Sonic R, or Sonic, not Sonic R, I wish they were remaking Sonic R. Like, an on-foot racing game is cool. I want them to remake or give us a sequel to Sonic R, but they're never going to sink and do that, because life is unfair. Um, yeah, we cannot scale walls like I thought we were going to. Uh, that's kind of lame. Uh, we'll use killing... Yeah, I'll use an armor slayer just to save the uh, usage of it. Of other things. But yeah, the Sonic team racing that's coming out it looks kind of cool i guess it's just like a sonic racing game the transform game is cool it's just that i you can attack from a distance on ku since when uh okay fine by me you only attack from diagonals it seems and uh we'll have you jump over here and there we go. We yeah, Team Sonic Racing. It looks cool. And I don't know why they're like sort of downgrading because the previous racing games had all Sega characters, but now it's just only Sonic. So I'm kind of iffy about it for that reason. And then like with the team aspect, they're making weird choices with who's in what team. Like for Team Rose, it's uh, Amy, Big, and then a bunch of Chows that control a car together instead of just Cream and Cheese, like Team Rose. Um, and for like, I don't even think it's called Team Chaotix. It's like. A group of Vector, Silver, and Blaze, I think. It's really weird. And, like, uh, Eggman's in there with uh, Metal Sonic and Zabok. Like, can you please so like stop trying to make the Zeddy a thing? No one likes them. No one likes Sonic Lost World. It's a horrible singing game, and I hate those characters. I hate the game. Stop trying to make the Zeddy a thing. Just stop bringing them back. They're stupid, and I hate them. Oh, whatever. Can't get rid of this guy right away. Uh, we weaken him a bit. We could, but question is with who? And I might kill him. Uh, phooey. How much damage does Grangle do? Uh, about half. Hmm. We'll do Alyssa, because... For her, I'm certain that... But that's also not enough, probably. Flavia? On her own? Uh, we'll try it, I guess. This has a 40% hit rate, so that's good. Bow low, scum! You're in the presence of the Southern Sea King! Let's see what we got. Do that. He doesn't even look like his sinking character portrait. He's just wearing like a, a fancy little hat. To hide his shame. Uh, won't take him out, seriously. Uh, let's go for Noe. Or, Noe and Lissa, I guess. Let's see what we got. Just weaken him a little bit more. Uh, really? Huh. Was not expecting that. Anna? Ready? Okay. Now can Grangle finish him off, please? Thank you. Why, ye traitorous maggot! No one switches sail on me and lives! So close. You can't kill a dead man, sweetheart. Now to feed you to the maggots! You can do this. Such strength, not human. 
Now that's the real superpower of teamwork if I ever saw one. My lord. That's the last of the pirates. With the seas open once more, the people here should know a measure of peace. Mm. Thank you, Frederick. We'd best hoist anchor and move on ourselves. And that's it. No extra uh, conversation with Grangle now that he's with us. But we've got an unusual ally, but certainly a formidable one. Next time on Fire Emblem Awakening, we'll see if there's anyone else we can find who will be willing to help us save the world. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.